Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Toner TC777 USB Condenser Mic. You'll receive the microphone, a mic stand, a foam windscreen, a mini pop filter, and an instruction manual. The mic has a plastic body with a dark blue matte finish. It measures 6 inches by 1 and 3 quarter inches by 1 and 1 quarter inch. The USB cable on it is about 5 feet long and there's a small Velcro cable tie included for cord management. The tripod stand has durable metal legs and rubber feet, making it fairly stable and stationary. And it connects to your microphone with a 5 8 inch thread, which is the same size as say a Blue Yeti or a Blue Yeti Snowball. It utilizes a small shock mount via these rubber bands for suspending the mic and protecting against surface vibrations. The part that holds the microphone articulates 180 degrees and has a built-in gooseneck for attaching the 3 and 3 quarter inch diameter pop filter. This simply screws on. The foam windscreen slips over the top of the microphone to help reduce wind noises from your breath and dampens unwanted background noise. This mic is pretty much plug and play. Just attach it to your computer via the USB cable and the drivers will install automatically. Once this is complete, you can use any application that accepts microphone input, like Audacity for sound recording, Skype for video chat, or YouTube Live for video broadcasts. Note that this is a side address microphone, which means you don't talk into the top of the microphone because it doesn't have very good pickup in this area. The condenser is located on the front side where the logo is and has a cardioid pickup pattern. So this is where the sound will be captured most clearly. Let's do a quick demo. I am talking into the front of the microphone right now and you should hear a pretty clear pickup. And now I'm going to turn the microphone and talk into the side of the microphone and the sound should be dampened here. As well as I keep turning, I'm gonna talk into the back of the mic and the sound should be somewhat dampened here as well. And I'm gonna continue keep turning and talk into the left side of the mic before continuing to turn and getting back to the front of the mic and here the sound pickup should be clear again. Now if I turn it one more time and talk into the top of the mic, as you can hear, the sound here is somewhat dampened as well. So the best pickup that you're going to get from this microphone is talking into the front side. The sound captured by this microphone is quite clear and crisp and you can position the mic 6 to 18 inches away from your face and still have great pickup. Compare the sound recorded by the toner mic to the sound captured by the Blue Yeti X Pro. For the rest of this review, I'll switch over to the toner mic so you can compare its sound with what's captured by the Yeti X Pro, which I'm using right now. This is what the mic sounds like when you're talking from about 6 inches in front of it. This is what the mic sounds like when you're speaking from about a foot away from it. And this is what the mic sounds like when you're about 2 feet away from it. Here's what you can expect in terms of keyboard noise when typing on a membrane keyboard. And here's what you can expect if you're using a mechanical clicky keyboard. You can also mount the mic to a boom arm and reduce the amount of surface vibrations the mic might pick up. Just make sure you use a 5 8 inch thread adapter to attach your mic to a standard 3 8 inch thread. While the TC777 doesn't quite have the rich tonal accuracy of the Yeti X Pro, the sound is quite clear and well balanced, with little distortion and very soft plosives. That's the P's, T's, and F's when you pronounce them in English. The raw audio is clean and easy to manipulate in post-processing, so you can get the best sounding audio you can out of it. If you're just getting started and can't afford to invest a lot into your equipment, the TC777 is a great launching point and will definitely step up your game for content creation, live streaming, and in-game chats. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.